so z nodes every node in a zookeeper tree is referred as z node z nodes maintain a stat structure that includes version numbers acl timestamp data length so what are these so version number is nothing but every z node has a version number which means every time the data is associated with the z node changes its corresponding version number also updated or increased and the next one is acl it is basically an authentication mechanism for accessing the z node it represents read and write permissions on z node other others can't read this data and the next thing is timestamp it represents time elapsed from z node creation and modification it usually represented in milliseconds and the last one is data length the total amount of data stored in a z node is nothing but data length you can store the maximum of 1 mb of data in each node or z node so the types of z nodes we have three types of z nodes available in zookeeper they are nothing but persistence node ephemeral node and the final one is sequential node persistence node is nothing but it is alive until they are explicitly deleted a node can be deleted by calling the delete api so it means until we our user admin manually remove this this node will be available and the next thing is ephemeral node these are active until the client connection is alive as soon as the client gets disconnected from the zookeeper ensemble then the ephemeral z nodes can be deleted automatically so they are kind of dynamic nodes and the last one is sequential nodes so these nodes can be either persistent or ephemeral means there can be permanent or temporary when a new z node is created as a sequential z node then zookeeper sets the path of the z nodes by attaching a 10 digit you know unique sequence number to the its original name sequential z nodes play an important role in locking and synchronization